Hi, everybody. I hope you guys are doing well. I miss and love all of you guys so much. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. So today... I am doing... A conversation with, which is my YouTube show, and I am having the guest on that I have known for a very long time. I practically consider him family, and I'm just so proud of the man that he is. So, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to present to you my dear friend and my hero, Chase Let me see. Hey, Ronald. How are you, my brother? I'm doing very well. I hope you are. I may have to uh, cut my camera off. You might have to stare at the ceiling for a little bit because I am driving. But uh, I appreciate the invite. <laughs> That's man. respectable. I don't want you to get in trouble, buddy. No, I'm not going to get in trouble. I, I know too many police officers not to, to get in trouble, so it's all good. How are you doing, <laughs> sir? How are you feeling? I am feeling wonderful. And I just want to say I am so proud of the man that you are becoming. You are an inspiration to so many people, including your own family. And because of your family's military history, which I know a little bit about I from our previous, our previous conversations, I just want to take this opportunity to thank them in addition to yourself, for all the sacrifices that you have all made for this amazing country of ours. I appreciate that, sir, and I'll make sure that they all get the uh, get the message from you. You've been a big supporter of all of us for a very long time. You know, I, uh, you and I talk pretty much daily. Uh, you know, share a prayer together uh, about just about every day, and I will definitely make sure that they all get the message from you. Um, because that means that means a lot to them. I, you, you pass, you know, veterans, active duty, anybody think about going to the military. I have a lot of respect for, for that. So yeah, by all means, I will make sure that they they get that message from you, sir. The honor is all mine. I have known this man for, I'm going to say, practically forever. He's probably outside of my own family. He's been one of my biggest supporters. Since day one. Day one. And I wanted to have him on the show today because a majority of our brothers and sisters that we have been losing to this pandemic are fortunately our vets. And I just want to take this second to say that my heart goes out to all of our veterans. That have sacrificed so much. Your sacrifices will never be forgotten. And that includes your sacrifices, Chase, as well. I appreciate that. So my first, a, go ahead. My first question to you is, before you thought about joining the service, did you get a perspective from your family since they have been in the service and did they tell you what what the process was like for them so the only person in my immediate family who has been in the military is my grandfather he was in the air force uh, mm -hmm. other than that i'm really the only person who had ever really uh considered military service i had a pretty good idea of So, prior to that, you know, I had obviously spoken with my grandfather. 
uh, did a lot of soul searching, and uh, at the end of the day, it led me to the Marine Corps. Uh, when I got into the Marine Corps, that's when I got involved with the, the military muscle family and that whole network of, of awesome veterans and active duty guys who uh, is just a really great support network, uh, people who knew how to navigate through, you know, uh, the military, you know, the, the good, bad, and the ugly. Um, and then my big brother, as I call him, uh, he's actually the godfather of my daughter, Rob. Rob he's been a big... Uh, He's been a big help to me as well. So, uh, but I didn't meet all those guys until after I got in. So, to answer your question, um, there wasn't a lot of people who I could go to. And a big shout out to the military muscle family as well. You guys have also been my amazing supporters. It's an honor. Yeah, it's been an honor and a privilege to call you all my brothers and sisters. Absolutely. And even though I haven't served on the front lines with you, I will never, and I'm crying as I'm saying this, I will never forget the sacrifices that you are making, that all of you have made to this wonderful country of ours. So if you ever see a veteran, thank them for their service, because it truly warms their heart to hear that someone appreciates what they're doing. And it that does. is the it, truly it really one does. of the greatest gifts that I could ever give to a veteran. And that, and we appreciate you, sir. That's, um, it, it really does, especially some of the, um, some of the older guys you see running around. They, a lot of them wear their, their hats and whatnot. And even people who, uh, some of the younger generation, they, uh, if anybody's ever rude for, for saying thank you for your service, I, I don't think that ever happened. So it, you can never go wrong uh, by saying thank you. So yeah, again, we, we really appreciate that. So the second question I have to ask you, Chase, was how is the tra- what was the transition like for you going from soldier to civilian? How difficult was that process for you? So it's it's definitely a um, an interesting event. All right, when you when you're getting done with active duty, you I'm go not hungry yet. Good. Good. So, uh, so it it, it, it it is a bit of a other... process uh, to get out of the, the military and transition. Uh, you really go out thinking, okay. I've got a lot of military experience for me. I had college experience. I thought for sure that I would have somebody ready to just hand me a job, and I would just, as soon as I stepped out of the Marine Corps, I would just be landing right into a really, you know, phenomenal uh, career. Um, mm-hmm. Unfortunately, it does not work like that. You still have to go through interview processes, which obviously I, I knew that was going to happen, but uh, if I could give anybody any um, advice, I would say start it sooner rather than later Um, because it Mm -hmm. did take me a a little bit it took me almost two years uh, to get into the position that I'm in right now which I I love Um, but I had to work a few jobs that were really awesome jobs I enjoyed them very much had a great group of guys that I worked with Uh, but to get me into the career field that I'm in now it did take a lot of of work Um, that being said a lot of veterans it's hard for them, and that's that's why there's a lot of, of veteran issues. Is mm-hmm. that um, the tr- the transition can be a lot more difficult than than say I went through, and people can end up, you know, in in, in worse spots than me. Let's put it that way, um, because sure. there's not there there are resources out there, uh, but unless you know about them, it's very difficult to uh, to to utilize them. Um, so for me, it was it was a little bit of a rough transition. Um, but Marines are taught to endure and that's what I did and, and it, it paid off in the end. So here we are. If you had the chance to do it all over again, would you do it? A 100% yes. I, I would not be where I am right now. I would not be, uh, in, in the, in the position I am in life without this, this the opportunity being in the military. So I would 100% uh, do it again.
You know, what I love about your family is that they are all amazing. And your wife is one of the strongest women I've ever met. So I just wanted, I had to thank her personally because I know it hasn't, and you guys know each other for a long time. So mm -hmm. it's not easy for women, military wives to hold it down. Mm -hmm. They have their moments too. So I just want to take a minute to appreciate all the military wives out there. It, it, it's difficult Especially, for them if, if they don't have um, the right resources, but fortunately, you know, being right. active duty, there are a lot of programs they can get involved in, and right. it does take a very strong woman to do what they do. So, you know, shout out to all the, the military wives for sure, and the yeah. military husbands that are out there as well. That's true, too. That's true. It takes, they say it takes a village mm -hmm. to raise a family. It does. And there's a lot of sacrifices that are made within that village. And I'm pretty sure, and the reason why I know this is because I have family in the military. Mm -hmm. Both of my cousins are serving right now, and I have veterans in the family, too. Tell them all and thank you for me. I will thank them, of course. Just as much as you're my inspiration, they're my inspirations, too. For sure. And I, and I love them from the bottom of my heart. Awesome. I have... As I told you yesterday, the majority of this was our friendship, our brotherhood that we've built throughout the years. So what was your reaction when I first reached out to you and how do you feel about it now going forward? Man, when you first reached out to me, that's been several years ago now. Uh, I was very honored, very humbled. Uh, that you would reach out to me and and uh, you you know you told me I was uh, I was a very I was a very young uh, Marine at the time and it was it was uh, an honor to have someone uh, reach out and say hey I appreciate your service you are a hero keep doing what you're doing and honestly that's never stopped from you uh, you've always been in in, in my corner and in, in my family's corner uh, just to give us that motivation and support. Um, it was uh, right there at the beginning. I knew I was like, this is this is great. Uh, got a really great great friend. Um, you know, it's been it, you know we've corresponded via letter before. We've we've sent each other things. It's been uh, awesome. Um, and, and I don't think that's ever going to stop. So I, you know, from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate our friendship and us. Uh, you know, just kind of sharing each other's uh, motivation, as it were. So it, it from start to finish, it's it's been as consistent as I could ever ask for. Uh, for anybody as a friend, so thank you for that. I thank you for your friendship as well. It it gives me the strength and courage to know that I have a Marine in my corner. For sure. And I'm, and I'm, and I was asking, the reason why I'm, I'm still asking myself, you know, what have I done to deserve a Marine who met me in person, that is. <laughs> And we've only t talked through social media. But it's that key word that you mentioned. It's the sacrifice. And like you told me, I'll never forget it. Just because I'm not wearing the uniform of a Marine, that doesn't mean that I'm not a Marine at heart. Right. The battle that everyone's fighting is difficult. Mm -hmm. But you have encouraged me not just through the prayers and the, and our letters but the conversations we have and I'm just one of the I'm one of the lucky ones to even have you as a brother and still to this day to this day I'm very proud of that I, I'm pr proud of you and all of your accomplishments. Like I said, it's, you know, it, I've said it before in, a, in, in, in my podcast and in a couple videos I've done before, uh, you know, everybody holds the Marines or holds, you know, anybody who's a service member to a high standard. Uh, but you as a civilian, you hold yourself to the same standard, you know, morally that that we all do. And if everybody would do that, and, and behave the way you do and be kind, be supportive, 
and, 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 and live with integrity, we wouldn't have half the problems that we do in the world right now. So that right. it speaks volumes uh, to your character uh, as to how you've always been. So, again, you, you're, a, you're a, uh, a shining example of, of what it means to be, you know, just a kind human being and a good human being. I appreciate that very much. I appreciate that that kind words too. Thank you. And it doesn't matter if, because I know you are a Trump supporter. But I like I told you before, just because we believe in different political parties, sure. that's not going to change our friendship. No, and and, and it never that's should. Political political affiliation. Everybody's got their own. We live in a country where people are entitled to have whatever opinion they would like to have, and having good civil discourse and still being friends despite you know, disagreements is what it's all about. And I think that's, uh, that's a beautiful thing. And a lot more people, I think a lot more people are like that than uh, we're shown. I think there's a lot more cohesion than division, uh, despite the fact that people would think we're all polarized right. like that. I agree. I certainly agree. If the, I'm sorry that I met you later in life, but if you had met me when you were a teenager, what would you tell? And I'm, I'm putting myself in there because I just mentioned this, but what would you have told your younger self if you were to have the chance to talk to your younger self? If I could talk to my younger self, I would tell myself to not be so stubborn. <laughs> uh, if I had if I had met you in a younger life, I think I would have told myself to be a lot more like like Ronald. Um, you know, there's a there's a lot of things I would I would tell my younger self, but I think if I had told myself those young if I had told my younger self those things. I wouldn't be where I'm at now. I wouldn't have learned and gone through life the way I have and experienced what I've experienced. So while there are things I would say, I think I would, they're better left unsaid at this point because I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't have, have learned from a lot of that stuff looking back. But if there's one thing I, I would say is probably, uh, uh, I'd probably say, hey, just manage your money a little better. I think that's what I would say right. at the end of the day. Right. When I look at you right now, what's that? There, there's a lot of words that come to mind. Obviously, motivator, champion, hero was a lot. What would be the one word that you would des describe about yourself? About myself, um, if, if I could describe myself in one word, I would say consistent. Um, there, and while motivation is, is something that gets you off the couch, it doesn't finish the job, uh, discipline and consistency do, uh, and specifically just consistency. My wife has told me from the beginning since we've known each other that in uniform, out of uniform, you know, in, in pretty much everywhere I go, I'm the same person, uh, mm -hmm. regardless of setting. Uh, I don't I don't really feel like putting on faces, putting on masks, like right. people wear to, uh, to to cover up and pretend to be somebody else. Um, I think everyone should really try to be um, as consistent as possible and be themselves. And I, I and I don't, I don't talk about myself a, a lot because that's, I, I don't I just I just haven't actually, but to I think consistency is the answer to your question, uh, to really uh, describe who I am. And I, I think that's true. And I think you can ask a lot of people uh, who I've worked with, worked for, worked above. They'll tell you the same thing that, hey, yeah, you're right. You know, on and off the clock, just the same, you know, motivated guy, I guess. Well, Chase, it has been an honor and a privilege talking to yes, you. Sir. It sure has. And I know we've had a lot of fun throughout the years, but before we part, because I know you, I don't want to get any driving right now. Um, I thank you 
sit down. We ask. Don't touch us. I thank you for always being in my corner. Yes, sir. I've always told you that you are still a brother to me. They're to me, and I love you from not just the bottom of my heart. I love you for what for the for the human that you, for the human that you are. You have a heart of gold that truly is a precious gift. And I just want to say to your beautiful wife, I thank her for what she's, and your children as well. I thank them for what they bring to the table. I will definitely let, I'll let her, I'll let her watch this too later on once we get it on. Once you get it up on your channel, I'll, I'll definitely let her I check will, it out. Yes. If, you, if, if you send me the video, yes. uh, if you can send me the video, I'll put it up on my uh Yeah, on my I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you a message saying I just posted it with the channel okay. link. So that way, if you want to interview me on your YouTube, you can, and we can talk about whatever you want to talk about. But the reason why I wanted to interview you today, Chase, was because I I wanted to get to know my friend that I love a it. little better. I love it. That just, sure, writing letters and talking on Instagram is a great thing. But the conversation that we're having right now, we should have done this a long time ago. And hey, you know what? Because it, it, I, it happened exactly when it was supposed to happen. I think it's uh, yeah. Uh, you, came, you came into my life at, at just the perfect moment, and I think you know it, it's all culminated to, to this point, and it's only going to get better from here. Um, but yeah, I'll it definitely... certainly will. And I'm always looking at the bright side of life. For sure, and, that, so, and I think a lot of people should. Before we end this video, I'm going. Why don't we do what we always do? Okay. Let's take a second out of our day and just and just pray for one another because that has truly given me given us the strength and the courage that we need every day. Amen to that. And I thank God that Chase is one of my biggest supporters. Because I know he's going to always tell me, you know what, when you're down and out, Ronald, I want you to remember that you are loved, that God loves you for who you are. Because you're doing God's work. Amen to that. So I just want to thank you again, Chase, for this opportunity. And um, we will, I will send you the prayer that I always send you as our tradition, but feel free to talk about this before you, as an interaction, because I would love to hear it. For sure. How you felt about doing this, and I'm very grateful to you. So thank you, Chase, so much for taking time out of your busy schedule just to be here with me, and we will talk very soon, okay? I love sir, you. you stay I love safe. you back, sir. Yes, sir, you too. God bless you, I sir. I certainly will. Thank you. Yes, sir.